All right, hey there, guys. I uh, apologize for not being around. I haven't been posting too many videos lately. Winter has been really, really, really nasty this year. Um, we've got too much free time. A lot of shoveling, a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of school, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. But um, what you see laid out in front of you, uh, and what brought me to want to do um, a video on what I'm about to do is what I'm going to call everyday carry wear or civilian extreme cold weather survival system or layering system whatever the military calls the EWECS I think something like that um, it'll, I'll correct it and it'll be on the right title posting but um, I've been thinking about doing a video on everyday carry and what I normally carry um, you've seen my, my backpack breakdown but before I got to a video that um, I still need to do a little bit of fine tuning on. I figured I would do uh, a video on what to wear, um, or not what to wear, but what I wear. Um, and especially in a circumstance like this, today is January 27th, 2014. And I'm going to show you guys the, the radar app for North America tonight. <clears throat> um, up here in Minnesota, where the green dot is. We're expecting negative 10 degrees. Um, you can see that at the bottom. We're at negative 10 degrees right now and falling. Uh, low tonight of negative 19 degrees and tomorrow is going to be high of negative 2. Um, they're forecasting the wind chill to be between negative 30 and negative 50 degrees in parts of Minnesota. Um, I'm not going to break down what what uh, wind chill means. Just uh, the same as like heat index and stuff like that but um just to show you guys half the country right now is in the blue and if you look at the 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 blue or lighter or pinker and up at the top right in the graph um you can see that's below freezing that's 30 degrees or colder um texas is freaking out right now that the entire east coast watching the weather channel and watching the news right now is going into panic mode um <clears throat> So I wanted to make this video. I'm um, going to try to keep this short and to the point, um, but I'm going to go through what I normally wear and uh, picked out a few of my favorites of a lot of polar tech stuff and a lot of stuff that uh, the military won't give you, but that you can find at military um, surplus stores or if you were enlisted or if you were uh, in the military, you might still have some of the stuff lying around, but um, here we go. This, this is what I like to wear. Um, when it gets to be 30 degrees and colder in a, in a layering system, up in Minnesota we're always talking about layers and, and when it's, you know, 30 degrees to negative 30 degrees and most of us still have to function, um, we have to layer up in, in a lot of different clothing, um, clothing systems. So <clears throat> to break this down and to go really quick, um, first and foremost, um, start with underwear. I'm not going to show you what kind of underwear I wear. That's uh, inappropriate. But um, inside out, um, top to bottom, I, I always, whether summer or winter, I always like to wear an A-shirt or um, you know a, a cotton inside sleeveless shirt. Um, I like the ones that are tagless. Um, really, really, really like these. You always take them off too and use them for rags or, or whatever you need to. Um, socks. Normally, um, summertime, wintertime, if it's if it's going to be above 30 degrees, uh, I love wearing cotton socks. Um, I have a bunch of them. I don't, you know, who doesn't have socks? But when it gets to be a little bit colder than that or if I'm going to be out doing stuff, I'll either wear a smart sock. Um, these, I believe, are uh, uh, Under Armour socks. Or if it's going to be decently cold and I'll still be working around, I'll wear Moreno wool socks. Um, I found these to be awesome for hiking, camping, um, all kinds of stuff where either you're going to be uh, cold or your feet are going to sweat. Um, the Moreno wool naturally wicks the moisture away from your feet and you can let these dry out, wash them, they dry real quick and a um, great camping sock. And if it's really, really cold, um, even in regular boots down to negative 20, negative 30, my feet are always still warm in a regular set of leather boots in Moreno wool socks. Um, love, love taking care of your feet because you only get two. Other than that, 
base layer on up, um, starting with the pants. I know uh, a lot of options out there are you know boxer briefs or um, men's style jeggings, um, Under Armour really tight compression fitting stuff that's you know stuck to your body like like really really painted on long underwear. I don't I don't like that. Um, what I ended up getting, I got a couple pairs of these. But this is the uh, Polar Tech mid-weight drawers, medium regular. Um, these are amazing. They're micro fleece. I believe people consider this still micro fleece. Um, but these are amazing. I don't like the skin tights, the super, super skin tight stuff. Um, it's insulated all the way down. These are amazing. Um, I can't say enough about these. If you can find some of these, like the actual authentic ones, not the knockoff um, stuff, but something actually made with a military ID number or uh, something made by Polar Tech. Um, these are amazing. Super, super nice. Uh, moving on to shirts. If it's above 30 degrees, I'm going to wear any kind of t-shirt. Um, usually you can get away with a short sleeve t-shirt. Just, you know, whatever kind of t-shirt you can find. If it's going to be colder than that, I'll go with a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, I've come to find out that Columbia makes an Omni, uh, a lot of their Omni Tech stuff is really cool too. But um, especially their, I'm sure, make sure you guys can still see all this. The Omni Dry stuff by Columbia um, is really, really nice. When it's really, really cold out and you have to work and stay active to, uh, to keep your warmth or, you know, any kind of shoveling or if you're out playing, if you're out snowboarding, um, snow blowing, snow, whatever, anything in the winter. Um, and you stop or you're working up a sweat and then all of a sudden you need to take a break when you start sweating that'll make you really 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 cold um, if you're if you're not going to keep moving um, so wicking moisture away and, and evaporating or at least getting that moisture away from your, bo your body especially when you're wearing like nine different layers is very important um, so I found this Omni Dry stuff to be absolutely amazing these Columbia um, Omni Dry and um, what's the other? Columbia's got a lot of Omni stuff, Omni Tech, um, different kind of stuff. But go ahead and look that up. I really like these two. But beyond that, um, my favorite before that and my favorite um, still to this day when, when that shirt's dirty is a Polar Tech. Find my tag. This again, too, is a Polar Tech. This is, I believe, another mid weight upper, actually. Um, this is more of that elasti material that is kind of more of a skin tight kind of thing um, that I don't like for pants, but for shirts I don't mind. And this shirt comes with thumb holes, um, which is really, really amazing. What I don't like about this um, shirt specifically is that maybe you can hear that right now. It gets very staticky, especially when you wear cotton, and I still wear a lot of cotton. Um, so I'm... Um, there you go again. So Polar Tech bottom, Polar Tech top, and um, on to pants. Nine times out of ten, uh, of course, in the summertime, or even spring and fall, I'll be wearing a regular pair of blue jeans. Um, right now, actually, specifically because it is so cold, and I don't have actually layers on right now, and it's laundry day, I'm wearing a pair of insulated blue jeans, um, which are really, really nice. Uh, I can't remember who makes these. Uh, this might be Bluth Trading Company or uh, maybe Cabello's or something like that. But um, insulated jeans are always a good option to do. But going back to what we're talking about layers, if I was wearing that specific Polar Tech midweight drawer, I'd most likely be wearing one of the colors. I have almost all the colors right now of proper tactical trousers. Um, I Right here... They're clean for today. I've got the the coyote, the tan, and the black. Um, I've tried 511 pants. I don't care for them. Either you love 511 or you hate them. Um, I'm not a big fan of their pockets. But the way these are, you can hopefully you can kind of see that. These are cut like jeans, at least as close as they can be for a tactical pant for me. They are a cargo pant though, so you get cargo pockets on both sides. Um, you get a coin pocket in your right, um, and two really nice deep front pockets. Um, you actually get a change pocket in the right hand side as well. On the left side, it's just a nice deep pocket, but on the left side, 
what I really like is their cell phone pocket or spare mag pocket. Um, I should do another video on just how much I like these pants, but reinforced knees. Um, the back pockets are not only Velcro closures, but you actually have, if you can kind of see that, you actually have a double back pocket on the inside. So there's a pocket you can put your wallet in, and then the other pocket goes actually all the way down to the bottom. It's a very deep double set of back pockets that I really, really find nice. As well as, unlike most tactical pants, you actually get um, a snap and a zipper fly. And instead of getting cinch straps on the side, they give you a little bit of elastic, which I prefer. I really like that. So, um, proper tactical trousers. Make sure it's not too blurry. There you go. Proper pants. I love them. Absolutely love them. They're breathable. They dry quick. Um, I've thought multiple times, and I've, I've tried a couple different pairs of like zip-off quick-dry pants. What I found though is that I never really take off the bottoms enough to use them. Um, I'm out in the woods, I'm out camping and stuff, and I gotta go trace off to the woods. I don't, I'm you know, collecting wood, I don't wanna zip my pants back up so I don't get poison ivy. Um, usually I just take my pants up or roll the, roll the bottoms up. And I found that those zippers kinda get in the way. Uh, off on another tangent. Back to uh, my main point on top of. The long sleeve t-shirts, another layering system, um, like right now, um, I'd be wearing a sweatshirt or have a sweatshirt close, um, either in the truck bag or in the truck itself. Um, this one actually that I'm wearing right now is, uh, I think just a Under Armour hoodie. No big labels, no, uh, you know, camouflage colors. It's just a gray Under Armour hoodie. Very nice. I like it. Over, uh, base layer pant. Uh, a regular set of pants or, or an outer layer of pants and then one shirt which is the a shirt or the inner shirt and then a base layer shirt and then an outer shirt which would be a long sleeve shirt uh, then a sweatshirt um, if it's really cold out i'll keep on adding to the layer system with either a, a lightweight micro fleece jacket or a lightweight um you know sport kind of jacket the ones that i have uh currently that i wear most often especially in the spring and fall when i just need you know just a nice lightweight jacket um, is Marmot. I got this Marmot jacket um, for reasonably cheap at I think a Goodwill or something like that. But it's an extra large. Um, you know, it's got the micro fleece layering, I think, on the inside. It's semi water, semi water resistant. I have soaked it once or twice, but it's not very windproof. Um, nice pockets. They've got you know, straps on your cuffs so you can kind of you can kind of strap it down to your wrist if you really want to. Breast pocket, inside pocket, um, nice jacket, but not incredibly warm. Um, unless it's this might you know only be an outer jacket that I'd only take with me if it were above 40 degrees. And I am kind of a, a freeze baby, so I like to be warm. I like to have options. I can always add or remove layers. Well, if it's going to be really cold, I actually have another of the uh, EW Extreme Cold Weather ECW Clothing System, CS, ECW CS, Extreme Cold Weather Clothing System. Um, is actually, a, an, again, another purchase from the Surplus Store. Um, it looks like a regular ski fleece or something you might buy at like Stephen Berry's, but this is actually a Peckham. Um, and Peckham International actually makes the Polar Tech stuff or helps in the designing of. I'm not sure quite, I haven't done too much research on that stuff, but this is again another one of the layers of the seven layer slash 12 layer clothing system that the military designed for their soldiers. Uh, compared to a regular fleece jacket, this is, I would at least say, five to 10 percent, or I'm sorry, 50 to 100 percent warmer. This actually seems to have some wind breaking capabilities even though it doesn't seem like it compared to my marmot jacket um but this is super super warm and i love this thing i think i got this for like ten dollars and it's one of the best inner jackets slash midweight outer jackets again if it's above 40 degrees i'm gonna just wear a jacket like this just a fleece jacket um on top of and outside this in the truck bag 
Um, so you guys can see all that. In my truck bag, I'll actually have an extra set of boots, um, another miscellaneous stuff, um, underpants, socks, some stuff like that. But then I also keep a pair, a pair of Gore-Texes. I actually got the pants rolled up, and the actual upper for the coat. The Gore-Tex, I believe it's the Gen 3 Gore-Tex as well. Parka, cold weather, camouflage, Gore-Tex Parka. Um, again, another awesome find from a military surplus store. But the top plus the bottoms plus a really good set of boots. And in my case, I really am digging my first pair of Danner boots. I believe these are the Kinetics. Um, I've burned about a year and a half on them so far. And they're still holding up really good. Um, so other than the Gore-Tex, that is a stream backup and a truck bag kind of thing where if I'm going out camping um, over or on top of one of an additional layer that I can wear on top of that. But, uh, forgot to mention gloves, but maybe I'll get into that later. Is either a Gore-Tex snowboard jacket or a Superfill down winter jacket. Um, if it's going to be cold, I'm going to be spending a lot, I mean like a lot of time snow blowing or snowmobiling with friends or out ice fishing. I'll actually wear a really, really big pair of Sorrells. Um, or I'm sorry, these are Rockies, but I have Sorrells too. Um, really big, nicely insulated winter boots instead of just regular, regular boots. But um, other than that, um, that is a kind of a basic winter system, um, other than, of course, gloves and a hat. Um, we get into all kinds of crazy discussion about that kind of stuff, but I'm already on 17 minutes, so I'm going to cut this video short right now with a couple more points that I normally carry with me in my backpack, in my everyday carry bag. Um, one, um, I'm sure you've seen this in maybe one of my other videos, but a lightweight Gore-Tex. I believe this is the level 6 Gore-Tex outer and extra large that matches my backpack that is windproof and waterproof. Um, love this setup. I actually got as well in this backpack. I've got the same colored large Shamog uh, or Shema, whatever you want to call it. Basically a headscarf or a multi-wrap. Um, might do another video on one of these too, but um, look up what these are. These are amazing, multi-use, multi-purpose. And then again too, um, I should actually pull this out, but I don't want to right now. I actually have the level five wind shirt in the exact same color as I have all these. And again, I carry all these with me in my backpack every day. So I got a Gore-Tex, a level five wind shirt, and a Shimog, and an extra pair of mechanics gloves all in my backpack that I carry with me 365 every day of the year. Uh, in my backpack, even with school bags or, you know, going out um, for regular everyday carry, going to work, my backpack still weighs less than 13 pounds. So not that much weight added to it whatsoever. And actually with the Gore-Tex jacket on the bottom there, um, the backpack will actually stand up. Otherwise the Pygmy Falcon 2 will want to tip over without something like an Nalgene bottle on the bottom of it. But that's, there you go, that's uh, um, my take on my clothing layer system. Uh, cold weather, um, multi-layers, civilian style, extreme cold weather clothing system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of went on for a ramble. Sorry this video is uh, almost 20 minutes long, but when we're talking about, you know, being outside and taking care of yourself, and if you've never experienced hypothermia or a Minnesota winter, for that matter, um, you might want to think about having some clothes in like a backup bag or in a truck bag, get home bag in, in your vehicle, have an extra jacket or maybe two, maybe some gloves, um, especially this time of year. Um, you guys take care of yourself out there. Thanks for watching, of course and always. And, uh, We'll see you guys in the next video.